Hello, I'm Sheila Pearl, relationship coach and author of Ageless and Sexy. I'm dedicated to your having loving relationships after 50, 60, 70, and beyond, recognizing that life for all of us as we turn 50 begins to change and shift, and our choices are expanded, our possibilities are more infinite than you and I might realize. However, in our relationships, sometimes old habits die hard. We might have been in the habit throughout our lives and balancing the books, trying to keep the facts straight and forgetting how to really listen, forgetting how to lean in to one another. So today I want to just talk about how important it is to lean in in your relationships rather than push back. And it's all to the point where living an ageless and sexy life is about minimizing your stress and maximizing the loving relationships that you and I are in. So I've learned that if you are willing to lean into what is and don't push back on what is, you'll minimize your, your stress and you'll expand your possibilities of what to think, what to feel, and how you're going to step into the next moment. For instance, someone might say to you something like, um, I'm really uh, very upset today and I, I really don't like having to go to my job. And you might say, you shouldn't be so upset. You should be happy you have a job. Now that's a conversation that took place between a husband and wife that I'm working with. And from that conversation, the husband who was complaining about his job and the wife who was telling him what she thought he should think or feel had a conflict. They both thought they were right and they both thought they had a right to express themselves and all of that may be true. But in this particular case, like many others I work with, I suggested that the wife simply lean in to what her husband was saying. Honey, it sounds like you really had a bad day. Want a hug? That would have diffused everything for both of them. So it's important to lean in to one another, to go towards whatever is going on. Don't try to talk someone out of what they're feeling. Don't try to give them advice about what you think they should think or feel. Allow them to feel, you lean into what they're feeling, you don't have to fix it, and then you have some place to go. Every time you and I try to push back on a situation, we might say about a particular situation, I wish it wasn't this way, then we don't allow for it to become something else because we're so busy pushing back on what it is. So notice what it is you would like to shift and change. Be totally in the present moment with whatever it is so that you're equipped to move to the next moment without being stressed or angry or resentful or cranky. So the tip for the day is lean in, don't push back. Until next time, goodbye.